Loopy Harold is his name. Driving me around the twist is his game. Morning, morning, morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Love 500 and welcome back to Loopy Harold. After the last video, we're going to try and get rid of that air. We're going to try and flush through the system, get it, get it all out, get it all clean and get new coolant in. And then we're going to cross our fingers and hope we can get to the bottom of this problem once and for all. Let's do it. I had to take you off time lapse and record this. Listen to this. Have you ever heard anything like this before? Check this out. So I've taken, I've driven the car about a mile. Um, I take a parcel down to the Hermes uh, lockers to, to to send off in a petrol station for court. It was on low, so I needed some petrol. So I stuck 12 quid in it um, and I've driven it back. So it's driven a couple of miles. Started perfect all the way there. None of that rushing noise. Coming back, accelerating in second gear and third gear you could hear it again behind the dash <clears throat> so i've put it up on ramps as you saw and i've started to unscrew this check this out listen to this probably ain't going to do it now oh it was playing a tune oh no it's just coming out it was playing a tune it was going and now it's boiling over again well not boiling over but it's obviously coming out oh, it's just God. See now when I when I just I don't know if you saw me on time lapse, I got a torch down the side of it to have a look to see what the level was. And it was below just below minimum. And now I'm taking the cap off. Let's get me thing underneath to catch it. <clears throat> I'll just put a bucket under there for now. Can't believe how much of this is coming out again. Is it because of the, the amount of air in it? We've got a bucket under there catching, catching it all. So much coming out. This ain't right, is it? Thermostat's opening because you can feel that the pipes are, are hot. Right, I think that's it now. So it wasn't a massive amount. Look, you've got that brown crap again. So obviously, I read all your comments from the last Loopy Harold video. Uh, and I know a lot of you still think it's um, the head gasket or the head. Now, as I mentioned in, the, in that video, when we did the head, or rather when Connor did the head, um, he looked at it, obviously with the naked eye. Uh, no, it wasn't taken anywhere to have it skimmed or anything like that, as some of you suggested it might have been, or asking the question, no it wasn't. He had a look at it, he said it looks all right. We've put it back, well, he's put it back. I keep saying we, he. Um, the car is not overheating, that's the main thing. The car runs up to the correct temperature. Um, the fan cu cuts in when it needs to for like 30 seconds, goes off. It's not overheating, so I don't think it is the gasket. I don't think it is. It's something to do with this coolant system. Excuse me, just drinking my tea. So, as a few of you suggested, get it up on ramps to get it higher, and we're going to drain it, and then we're going to get the hose pipe out and flush it through, and see what happens. So I think what we'll do, just just trying to decide which hose I'm going to take off. To I think we'll take off the hose down here. The hose that in the main water pipe is quite a low one. It's not as low as the low, lowest point. Actually, that might be better to take it off there. Um, hmm. Problem with that is, of course, if I take that off, it's going to pour out, and obviously the water's hot at the moment. But what I want to do first, first thing I'm going to do is do another sniff test. 
because if that comes back clear then we know that it's not the head gasket so we're going to give it a go and hope 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 that it's not all right let's, let's just pull some fluid in first it did say that it should be at running temperature then we fill up that little chamber like that put it in like that just put a little bit more in now when we did this before as soon as the engine started it turned yellow straight away so here we go let's move you so you can see it better I'm going to zoom in keep an eye on that fluid see what it does keep your fingers crossed because I've got mine crossed I have I have literally literally got my fingers crossed right they're still crossed in neutral right are we ready fire in the hole right at the moment it's blue still got them crossed still got them crossed Still blue. Now, as I say, when we did this before, it went yellow straight away. As soon as I started the engine, it went yellow within two or three seconds. And it's not doing it. It's not going yellow at the moment. So far, so good. You can see the air coming out of that as well. So there's still so much air in this system. I have got a vacuum uh, tester, not tester, vacuum fill up thing. And I bought it ages ago and I put it in the cupboard and I've not used it. So I think once I've got this flush through and as clean as I can get it, I think we might, um, might try using it. Let's give it a few revs. Nothing is there, it's staying blue. So, it's not the head gasket. That's good news. That is very good news. Very, very good news. So there's no combustion gases in there. There's air in it, loads of air in it, but no combustion gases. So that's good news. So that will set my mind at rest and I hope it will set your mind at rest as well because I know a lot of you have said head gasket it's definitely the head gasket but it's not clearly it's not it's staying blue right so now got to decide which hose to take off I might take off some of the higher ones actually what I might do is while I've got the bucket under there I might just get the hose out and just squirt the hose in there now before I've drained it I'll just give it a good blast um, it obviously it'll overflow and then I'll um, then I'll take a hose off and try and blow it through and then I'll take a lower hose off once I've um, once it's all cooled down a bit well, let's, let's unravel the hose right let's see what we can do can I get this up any higher so you can look down on it okay let's so obviously I say I know this is gonna overflow, but I'm gonna I don't care, I'm just gonna just gonna go for it. <laughs> In the face. Steaming my glasses up.
It's not getting anything important wet, which is the main thing. <sighs> Steaming up again. So we're getting all that sort of oily, gunky mess. Right, I think I just want to. Oh, I just want to try and push some of it round. Oh, it's gone down again now. Oh, it's too powerful. This hose. <laughs> it keeps on getting splashbacks. <laughs> oh dear. I want to try and push some of it round, and then um, that will help to cool it down. So I think I'm going to have to let it cool before I start taking hoses off. Otherwise, I'm going to end up burning myself. Right, well that'll do, I think. I think that'll do, so we'll just... Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top hose off first, and then that way it will push it round and it will come out the top. Uh, I'm going to take the radiator connections off, so I don't want it going over... Um, hang on, which one shall I take off? Shall I take that bottom one off there? No, I'm going to take the I'm going to take the one. Let's just show you that one down there, the silver one. That's where it joins onto the main um, water pipe. I'm going to take that one off. Let's just get a screwdriver, get that undone, and get it drained down. Be back very shortly. Right, I can't get the camera down there unfortunately, but so I've, got, I've moved the bucket over underneath this it might be easy if I take the airbox off but I'm gonna I'm gonna try it without doing that okay so let me undo that a little bit more I've already undone the hose but I'm just gonna undo it a bit more it's bound to be quite stiff I think cool blimey Actually, I'll tell you what, let's, before we go any further, let's take that battery off. I'm, not gonna, I'm just going to get this off and then we'll come back, because otherwise you can't actually see anything, can you? Okay, so it's almost off. Just going to try and catch it in the bucket. <laughs> oh, hot, hot, hot. I'm glad I put these gloves on. Okay, so that's coming out nicely, actually. So apart from that, uh, apart from the pipe, let's get that out of the way. Oh. Trying to hook that pipe out of the way. That's it. So apart from the pipe at the very, very bottom, let's just point you down there. It's almost finished now, but sort of pinky, pinky, pinky. you off. So I'm just trying to keep it off anything electrical so it hasn't touched the uh, electrical connection of the lambda sensor. That's fine. Although it's running down the cable. I'm sure it'll be fine. Once it's dried out it'll be fine. Right, so what I'm going to do now, put the hose pipe in and watch it come out. That's the plan anyway. There we go. Until we get clean water coming out. It's pretty clean, isn't it, now? But we'll keep it going for a bit. Even though we haven't got the lowest hose off, of course, getting any hose off and then blasting it through like this. Just want to move that bucket over a little bit. Um, he's, got, he's obviously going to... Oh. 
what was I saying? Yeah, um, blasting it off like this, even if even though it's not um, the lowest point, blasting it through. If you've got a hose off, it's just going to blast it through just out, around the system and out, isn't it? Although, of course, it's not coming out of that hose. Actually, no, that's probably only blasting the radiator, isn't it? Because it's going through the radiator, through that bottom pipe, and then coming out there. So that's only really cleaning that bit out. I mean, that wall was pretty clean now. And the bucket's full up, so I'm going to empty the bucket. Empty the bucket out once that's finished dripping. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the hose pipe up that pipe and then that will push it through. Hopefully that should push it through the heater matrix and so on. That's the plan anyway. Let's give it a try. I'm going to have to put you back on the tripod though. Right, let's take my gloves off. I nearly got scorched. In fact, I did get scorched a little bit. So it was a bit hotter than I thought. So I'm glad I did get did put the gloves on. Otherwise, it would have been completely burnt. Right, let's now I'll bend this out of the way. Try and get the hose in there. So that's now coming out the same pipe. So that should be going up the thermos, we've passed the thermostat, hopefully through the heater matrix, and then out the same pipe. Oh, I, didn't, I forgot to empty the, I need to empty the bucket because it's virtually um, full up. Right, I'm just gonna empty that and I come back. While I've got the bucket out, I just thought I'd show you the color of it. So you can see there's a bit oily. So don't forget this is the same coolant that was in there before. So it's got some oil in it. So that doesn't help, does it? Hopefully putting fresh coolant in will make all the difference. And hopefully by doing what we're doing now, we'll um, give the uh, heater matrix a bit of a clean through as well. That's what I'm hoping. I'm not sure whether it's, uh, it's not getting the maximum. It was suggested that I took the hoses off down the back there as I goes into the heater matrix, but I don't really want to do that because they are a pig to get to. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. But that, the, the thermostat, if, it, if this, attaching to that pipe, that goes up to the thermostat, doesn't it? Doesn't it? I think. Is that the next place it goes to? Pretty sure that goes to the thermostat. Uh, sorry, not the thermostat, up to the, um, to that where that valve is, you know, the, 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 uh, the valve that broke on me the other week. It goes up to that, and then the other side of that is it goes into the heater matrix. So hopefully by putting it under pressure with the hose pipe, it'll push it through the heater matrix. That's, that's, the, that's the theory, whether it's going to work or not. But let's just empty this bucket and come back. Right, I'm going to blast a bit more through the cap. But it's still coming out quite dirty. Oh, it's coming out of both pipes now. So it must be making its way through into the heater matrix as well somehow. Now it's coming out pretty much clear out of there now. Pretty much. Let's squirt it down here again. Right. It's gonna, I'm, I'm going to continue for a bit. It's, there's not much to show you really, unfortunately, but. Um, I'll continue until it uh, until it all goes clear, however long it takes, and then we'll put it all back together and we'll try we'll try this vacuum kit on it. I've got no idea how it works, but I'm going to give it a try um, and and see, we'll see what it does. But yeah, I'll be back. Right, I've also taken the top hose off and pushed it through the radiator that way and pushed it up the hose that way as well. Didn't go very far up the hose because um, obviously that's that's hitting the thermostat, the big hose that's that's where the, it reaches uh, the thermostat there so it, obviously the thermostat's only one way uh, I, I guess so uh, and if the thermostat's closed as it would be it's um it's not going to let water go through the other way i've done five or six bucket loads that i've gone that have gone through it um and i don't think i'm going to be able to get it any cleaner than that to be fair 
So, what I'm going to do now, one more thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to put this hose back on, and then I'm going to take the bleed screw out, and then I'm going to squirt some more through, um, and I'm assuming it's going to reach that, it should do, and see if that will um, do it a little bit more. So we'll just put this hose back. Oh. So we'll have to take the hose back off again, of course. There you go. Yeah, it's coming out of there now. And it's coming out clean as well. Yeah. Clean as a whistle, that is. So I'm just going to take that bottom pipe off again. Just to let the water out that I've just squirted through. I'm afraid I ain't got a clue. I can't figure this out how to use it. I'm not, maybe I'm stupid. But yeah, I'll have to I'll have to do some googling and see how to use that in future. Because I can't do it at the moment, so we'll have to give up on that. I'm afraid. Uh, so all our hoses are back on. We'll 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 do it the old-fashioned way. Um, yeah, right. Okay, let's um let's get filling. So you've seen me on time lapse there. The heater is on full blast, uh, and the heat, the hot air is coming out lovely and hot. The temperature is on normal. Uh, there's still air coming out of here. I've topped it up a few times, so that's how much it's used. So it's only used what two and a half liters. So there must have been some still in the system, I guess. But it was clear water that was coming out. So unless there was a massive blockage and the water's not getting through, which I don't think is the case because all the pipes are hot. Um, there's no air coming, there's no air gaggling. There might be when I take it for a drive and put my foot down in second gear. I might even actually do that in a minute. Um, but at the moment, all is good. The level's not going down at all. Um, but there is still air bubbling out a little bit. It's really difficult to see. This is quite dirty, this, even though I've blasted that through. It's quite dirty, and they're, they're translucent anyway, so they're always a bit on the difficult side to see. Even with the torch beside them, whereas the new ones, the, the aftermarket ones, are, are, are more white than yellow, like these ones. Um, but they are a pain to be able to see. But, yeah, it's, uh, I say, it's run up to temperature. Pipes are all nice and hot. And um, the car's not overheating. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the cap back on now and shut the bonnet and I'm going to take it for a spin and see if we get any of that noise. Um, so uh, yeah, I'll take it for a spin and then I'm just going to go around the block and come back. Uh, and then um, we'll see if we've got any of that noise and then we'll, we're, we're going to bleed it some more anyway. Uh, try and purge any more air out of it as much as possible today. Uh, and then it's a matter of, um, well, trying it and driving it a bit, seeing what it's like before I can Hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, again, put it up to sale. Um, I'm, not com I'm not confident with the car at the moment. Well, as you know, I'm not confident. Um, but maybe my confidence will grow. I sort of have ruled out the gasket now, or the head, because I've done a, I've done a sniff test. Um, 
So I've got a decision to make really. I, I'm not confident enough at the moment to sell it on the, in my normal channels, i.e. the mum's group. Um, uh, it may have to go on eBay and do it slightly cheaper. I, I just need to get a shot of this now. I've had it for, I've had it since what, November? I've just had it for so long and it's been a thorn in my side. And it's a nice car, so I don't really want to scrap it. It's, it's too good a car to scrap. So it may go on eBay cheap or something like that. But if I, if I can drive it around for a few days and it causes me no issues, the starting issues, touch wood, seems to have gone away. As I say, it was, it was sitting there for two weeks. It was the best part of two weeks, parked up the road, got in it the other night, started it up, perfect. Started it up today, perfect. Took it down to the petrol station, perfect. No issues. So whether that was just a blip uh, and maybe Walter had got in somewhere before where we had that fountain. Don't know. Maybe that will come back, but I need to drive it around to try it, don't I? So I'm going to take it around the block anyway, uh, and then we'll go from there. So I'll be back shortly. Right, I just got back, uh, and I was going, I only went around the block, sort of literally five minutes. Um, absolutely fine, no noise of rushing water until I got a couple of young, hundred yards up the road, and it started doing it again. Not as bad. Not as bad. Um, I didn't have the heater on full blast while I was driving, but I've had it on full blast on hot all the time I've been doing this. <clears throat> so it should be drawing it through the heater matrix and expelling the water. But the level, the level is still quite high on here. I don't really want to take that off at the moment. I think I might leave it till it's cooled down. Um, or shall I take it off? I might chance it and take it off with gloves on and a cloth. But it, the, the level is still quite high and I, I had expected it to go down more than that so maybe there was some still left in the system but you know with that good flush through only clear water coming out as far as I can tell it's gone around the entire system as far as I can tell um, but there is still air in it um, which, which you do expect to be honest you would expect that uh, just filling it up but you know no, normally when I've, when I've done the radiators and whatever you before and refilled it you, you have to go through this motions of purging the air out but not to such an extent as I've had to do with this one so <clears throat> yeah I think we're just gonna have to take that cap off let's get you up on the tripod and we'll take it off and then you can watch me burn myself put my gloves on use that cloth again as well so I did scald myself before but only a little bit because I had gloves on so I'll put them on again oops All right Let's have a look. Take this off. I know it's going to be, obviously it's going to be under pressure. Whoa. I mean, obviously the, the idea of doing this as well is any air that's collected at the top will be expelled out of the cap. But I don't want fluid to come out because the level's a little bit on the high side. It's when the fluid comes out, of course, that's what's going to burn you. Right. That's all right. That's fine. That's good. So it was just a hiss of gas, i.e., I say gas, air. So let's have a look with a torch again. Have I got another torch here? Well, I'm not no batteries in that torch. <clears throat> I need a torch with a... Have we got this one as well? This has got some power in it, this might be a better one. Well, it's still very bubbly. Very bubbly. Yeah. quite a lot of bubbles still coming out of there so I think we're going to leave the cap I'm just going to leave it leave it running for a while and then I'll do the, I'll do the same thing cap on cap off and so on actually where's the level now it's still up at maximum so I don't know if there's a massive air lot of air in there or what it's difficult to tell but it's uh, I think doing this it just has to be it had to be done to rule it out didn't it really it just needed to be done uh, 
Yeah, we'll leave the cap off for about 10 minutes or so and let it vent and then we'll put the cap back on, continue it running. I say, it's not, it's not boiling over anymore like it was. When I was driving it to work in the middle of the summer, well, sort of June, June July time, um, when the weather was quite hot, and it was causing me all sorts of problems. It nearly boiled over several times, but that was obviously before we did the head gasket. Now the head gasket's done, obviously that's taken care of that, which is good. So, you know, it was a punt having that head gasket done with the cost, of the, the money it cost me. Um, at the moment, we're still not able to sell it for what we'd normally sell it for. You know, I would, I would normally be selling this car for a good two and a half thousand. At the moment, with my lack of confidence of the car, you know, I, I couldn't sell it for two and a half grand. No way. It'd have to go on eBay for under two grand, I think. And I would list, obviously, I would list the problems that we've had. Because unless I know I've eradicated the problems for certain, I, I can't sell it as, as a perfect car. Um, and if someone else, someone else wants to take on the problem, it might, it's, 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 we don't know, do we? we we're, we're assuming that we've not done it, but let's, let's be positive and let's hope that by flushing that through, refilling it, bleeding it, does the trick. All, all, the only way we're going to find out is by driving the car for, for a little bit. So we'll have to do that. So for now, I will bid you farewell and we'll come back when we know a little bit more. So that's it. It's done. I don't know if it's going to be any good or not. We will see. We will see. Uh, so it's all purged as much as I can. I, I've, I've had the cap off. As you saw, it, the, the cap's been off for half an hour or more. It's been taken around the block. Uh, there was air in it. I don't know whether there still is. There's a few little bubbles. I've put the cap back on, let it build up a bit of pressure, released it, done that two or three times. Um, don't know. Don't know whether it's okay or not. Well, time will tell. There's nothing more I can do now. It hasn't got a blown egg gasket. We've proved that. Let's see. I, say, I mean, the car has been sitting on the drive now with fluid in it. All right, not run up to pressure, but I've taken it around the block. It's been sitting on the drive for over an hour, just idling, and it's not boiling over. It's not going to boil over, I don't think. Fingers crossed. So that part of it is okay. It don't, it, it don't get too hot anymore. Um, the only thing is that noise now of the of the rushing water, which it was still doing. I'm go I might take it around the block again now um, and see what happens. But um, obviously we'll report back as and when, I don't know, as and when we sell it, I guess, because I'm not doing any more to it. That's it. That's it. Nothing more. Whatever you're going to suggest me do now, it ain't happening. I'm not doing it. I've done everything I'm going to do. And I know I've said that before, but it's literally I'm at the end of my tether with this now. So it will either be sold cheap it will be sold at a relatively good price if it's sorted, or it's going to be broken up for spares. I, I'm not going to break it up for spares. I just, I, I just can't bring myself to do that. It's too good a car to do that. So, and and of course the effort that goes into doing that as well. Um, every time I see a red car now, it, it fills me full of dread. Um, <laughs> I always think it's Loopy Harold come back to haunt me. Um, well, hasn't even gone yet, so no doubt it will come back and haunt me. Um, yeah, so. I think what's going to end up happening is going to sell it on eBay. I don't want to sell it on the mum's group because unless unless I can regain confidence in the car, um, I say regain confidence, I never really had any confidence in this car. It's been a thorn in my side since November. But anyway, so that's it for Loopy Harold for now. I'm not going to say you'll never see Loopy Harold again because I've said that before and you've seen him two or three times since then. So as far as I'm aware, you won't see him again and I'll let you know once he's sold and then we'll go from there. So until then, thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe, and we will see you hopefully on the next one, not on this one. Back to the grey one tomorrow. Take care. See you soon.